Hello family, we thank God for today. We bless him for his goodness. Today, I want to pray for those believers that are being persecuted in China and those that are actually in prisons because of their faith. Before I share the passages of scriptures um, that I have in mind to share with you today, I just want to quickly share with you an article I came across on the charismanews.com website. It was published on 7th of April this year, and the title is Holy Spirit Strengthens Underground Church in China Amid Persecution. I will just read some excerpts, not the whole article. It starts off by saying a prominent house church pastor in China Pastor Yang Zibo is being targeted by the Chinese government, which has imposed substantial fines on him and his wife, Wang Zhufei, for organizing religious activities. The fines amount to 400,000 won, approximately $55,100, and are regarded by watchdog group China Aid as an act of religious persecution. Another paragraph says the troubles for Zhongzhending Church began in March 2019 when it was banned and fined 25,001. Another paragraph says the plight of Zhongzhending Church is not an isolated incident but reflects a broader crackdown on unregistered churches in China. According to China Aid, only five religious groups are officially permitted to practice their faith under closed state supervision. Another paragraph says authorities exploit the traditional Christian practice of tithes and offerings to fabricate fraud charges aiming to suffocate the house churches financially. Numerous pastors and elders from house churches have been imprisoned and religious citizens in Henan province must register with the government's smart religion app to participate in worship services. So hopefully this gives some context as to why I have chosen to pray for persecuted believers and those that have been imprisoned in China. There are two passages that I want to make reference to today. The first one is Philippians chapter 1 verse 12 to verse 14. It says, Now I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that what has happened to me has actually served to advance the gospel. As a result, it has become clear throughout the whole palace guard and to everyone else that I am in chains for Christ. And because of my chains, most of the brothers and sisters have become confident in the Lord and dare all the more to proclaim the gospel without fear. The second passage of scripture is Acts chapter 16 from verse 25 to verse 20 to, to verse 30 rather. But about midnight when Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns of praise to God and the prisoners were listening to them, suddenly there was a great earthquake so powerful that the very foundations of the prison were shaking and at once all the doors were opened and everyone's chains were unfastened. When the jailer, shaken out of sleep, saw the prison doors open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, thinking that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted, saying, Do not hurt yourself, we are all here. Then the jailer called for torches and rushed in, and trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas. And after he brought them out of the inner prison, he said, Sir, what must I do to be saved? Father, this is a very encouraging scripture to all believers, Father God Almighty, particularly, Lord, for those of God who have found themselves being imprisoned for the sake of the gospel. For many of us, Lord, who have never experienced what it means to be persecuted because of our belief in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we sometimes read this passage and in as much as we understand and know that a miracle take, took place, sometimes we can't fully grasp just the depth of love 
and of your power that God you release and are able to release even in our day for those of God Almighty who are imprisoned because of the gospel. Father God, Paul in the previous passage had shared that even though Father God Almighty, he was in chains, though the enemy had intended for it to be a distraction, for it to bring him pain, sorrow, and for him to even question his faith and your love for him, he basically testified that that chains that he was in, in some way was being used by you, Father God, to draw many to yourself. So today, as we lift up all those that are being persecuted in China for their faith, and particularly even those that already have been in prison, some have been in prison for years, Lord God Almighty. Some of them do not even know if they're ever going to come out of that prison alive. But Lord, we thank you that you're the God who is able to use the things the enemy means for evil and you're able to turn it around for good. So I pray that every persecution that your people have endured and continue to endure in China, you will use it for your glory. You will turn it around, O oh God Almighty, that good shall come out of it. That whatever the enemy's agenda is, Lord God Almighty, you who says that, Lord, you're able to frustrate the plans of the enemy and to turn every conspiracy of darkness into foolishness, Lord, let it be. That God Almighty, if there have already been testimonies of how God you're intervening on behalf of your persecuted ones in China, Lord God, we pray that there will be many more testimonies emerging. Father God, that Lord, they will be able to testify. Even the authorities themselves will know and testify that truly your people are not only preaching a God that has been made by the figment of a person's imagination, but that indeed you are powerful that indeed you exist, that you rule and reign in the affairs of men, that even through these persecutions, Father God, you will turn the hearts of many, including those in authorities who have been assigned, Father God Almighty, to frustrate believers, Father God, to torture them, to harass them, Father God, to bring about allegations against them, Father, may you begin, Father God Almighty, to turn the hearts of so many of those people to you. So that God Almighty, the experience that Paul and Silas had, we're praying that God there will be an, an unprecedented move of your spirit and of your power on behalf of Christian be Christians of God Almighty in China who have been imprisoned, Lord. That Father God Almighty, you will give them their own Paul and Silas testimonies in the name of Jesus. That you will begin, Father God, to cause many of them, Father God, to be released supernaturally. Father God, to testify that God, you're still in the business of watching over your own. And that Lord, when you said to us in your word that you will build your church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it, that people will begin to see in China the manifestation, Father God, of that great promise that you have made in the name of Jesus. For your word says, O oh God, that when you cause those prison doors to be opened miraculously and the chains, Father God, of Paul and Silas fell, Lord God Almighty, the prison guard was shaken for he understood and knew without a shadow of a doubt that a supernatural power was responsible for that which had happened and so your word says O oh God that the jailer immediately having been surprised by what he had seen knowing that it was an awesome thing that he had experienced your word says that he said to them what must he do to be saved so I pray in the name of Jesus that as you reach out and cause your power, Father God Almighty, to begin to manifest and to do the miraculous, the unheard of, Father God Almighty, even, O oh God, amongst, O oh God, your people that have been in prison, your people that are being persecuted, your people that are being in hiding, your people who have had, Father God, false allegations, O oh God Almighty, brought against them, Father. I am praying in the name of Jesus that you will cause all oh, prison doors, Father, to miraculously open up oh god almighty in china you will cause father god almighty false allegations to be surprisingly miraculously dropped in the name of jesus you will cause people oh god almighty that are hiding fleeing father finds oh god almighty to be miraculously dropped oh god in the name of jesus those charges lord that you will do it in such a way that the authorities that are involved that have been 
entrusted father to enforce oh god almighty whatever punishment whatever torturings lord god those people when they see the move of your power they too will say like the jailer said concerning um, paul and silas's story that they will begin to ask what must they do to be saved for they shall come to acknowledge that indeed there is a mighty god who's powerful who is mighty who is full of love one who is able, Father God Almighty, to give them that which their, their religious beliefs that is outside of your kingdom cannot give them, that they will begin to recognize that there is no other God than you, Jehovah God, that as they cry out to you, you will bring salvation to many of these people to the praise and glory of your holy name, that believers in China will be able to testify that that, O oh God, which the enemy meant for evil, you, O oh God, are turning it around for the advancement of your kingdom because you have said you will build your church in China and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. We give you glory. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. We're now going to go over our memory verse in romans chapter 8 verse 31 what then shall we say in response to these things if god is for us who can be against us we're personalizing it by saying because god is for me no one can be against me the lord bless you and I would encourage you in your own special um, moments or times, if you could dedicate some time to pray for persecuted believe, believers, believers or, that have been imprisoned, not only in China, but across the world because of their faith. Let's just lift them up in prayer. For it is when believers pray that these miracles that we expect God to do on their behalf, will become a norm, will become something that we hear about. And so if you're involved in church and, and, and any prayer group, I would just encourage you again to maybe bring up some of these plights of these persecuted believers to your prayer um, groups and encourage other believers to join in and, and to pray for persecuted believers across the nations. The Lord bless you. And I look forward to sharing with you tomorrow in Jesus name. Amen.